Hey guys, it's Mr. Herman back with another video. This one's going to be on find the surface area of triangular prisms. This one's going to be a little bit tougher than the one yesterday. So again, just try to focus the best you can. I'm going to do three problems. And uh, you may have to go back and watch this one more than once. It's quite a bit more challenging. <clears throat> yes, this is pretty simple. We had a simple uh, template we used with the two times. We did it three times. These are not the same way. So these have a different set of sides. Let's look at this one here and kind of get a feel for how it, how it works. On this one here, you've got this, this front and this back, which are both triangles. And then you've got these three rectangles. So what you'll find about these is you always have five sides. You don't have six anymore. But you can't just break it down in the same way. So let's start by looking at the triangles. There are two triangles, this front one and then the back one. It's kind of on the back that you can't really see, but around the back there is the back one, right? So we're going to say there's two triangles. So we'll start with that part of the template for this one. 2 times 1 half, because triangles are always a half times base times height. And the base and height have to be perpendicular, which would be the 5.1, meeting at a right angle with the 6.8. So 5.1, I'm going to have to use these because of the uh, times 6.8 decimals. So that's going to take care of the two triangles right there, okay? Now we got to figure out what we're going to do with the uh, three rectangles. This is kind of how I do it. The three rectangles all have the same size, side, one of them, and it's the distance between the two triangles. See the triangle tip here and that triangle tip there? This distance is between them. So I'm going to go like this now and do 2.5 three times for the three triangles. And then you have to give me the three sides of the triangles. The three sides of the triangles are 5.1, 6.8, and 8.5. So 5.1, 6.8, and 8.5. Now we got to get our handy dandy calculator. This is a little bit too tough to do in your heads with all these decimals. So let me put these in here just kind of quickly. I can't quite fit them on the side because this is a little bit too, uh, too zoomed in. So... Let me just move this up a little bit there. And a lot of people are going to say, why are you doing two times one half? That equals one. Yeah, you can just skip that. Yeah, you can. I expect you to. So you can just do, don't do this part and just do 5.1 times 6.8. Yes, that is perfectly fine. But I'm putting it in the form of so you know where I'm getting it from. If I didn't do two, I didn't do a half. You'd be like, why am I multiplying? Why am I finding a rectangle? It's not. It's a triangle, but there's two of them. And two of them actually equal a rectangle or a parallelogram. So I'm going to do 5.1 first times 6.8. That's going to give me 34.68 for this one. And we got 2.5 times 5.1, 12.75. times 6.8, 2.5 times 6.8. 17, that's a nice one. And then we got 2.5 times 8.5. That's going to be 21.25. Common mistake kids make. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. Common mistake kids make is they forget to add in this one right here. Because it's not part of the three. Remember yesterday we had three things. So they just add these up. Don't forget, don't forget to add this one in too. They all got to add in together. So I'm going to add them all up now. 34... 0.65, I'm sorry, 6.8, 34.68 12.75 17 plus 21.25. And all, as always in the past, you should uh, be doing this. You can pause the video if you want for a minute, do it yourself, and then check how you do it. Remember, it's still in, it's in square unit still, so centimeters squared. So there's that one. Now I'm picking a different kind. Uh, it looks different. In other words, it's not sitting on its on its edge like that. It's going to be sitting more like this one here. Kind of get into it. There we go. This one has uh, it looks like almost all integers. That looks like an eight point three right there, though. So that's an eight. These are very small numbers. Um, I should try to zoom in a little bit, maybe, to make you see it a little bit better. I hope. So I got looks like a 10, 10, 14, 8 point three, and ten. Well, kind of a lot of nice same sizes. So first, the triangles. There's two triangles on each end. 
So that's two times a half times. What are the base and height of the triangles? Well, that would be at the right angle. So the bottom here is 10 because that's 10 right there. It's the same. So 10 times 8.3. Okay, we can do that one first. I don't remember how we did it last time. I think we did it first. So again, you don't need to, you can just skip this part, and 10 times 8.3 is 83. I have to zoom out a little bit. There. I can't fit the other three sides in, so let me zoom just a little bit. There we go. Okay, the next one is going to now be, what's the distance between the two triangles? That's what you're looking for. That's what goes, if you remember back to this, we'll back to this one here a minute ago. That's what went right here, the 2.5, three times, the distance between the triangles. So on this one, what's the distance between the two triangles? Give you a second to look at it, then I'll tell you. It'd be 14. It's right here. Distance between the triangles is 14. So I'm going to say 14, 14, 14. And now I'm going to put my three triangles here. So my three triangle sides are 10, 10, and 10. Heck, they're all the same. That's kind of nice. That doesn't work out that often. This is an equilateral triangle type uh, prism. So that's going to be 140, 140, and 140. Then we're just going to add these all together. So this is going to be 420 for these two. That's today's, uh, today's date. I'm actually recording this the day before, so it's yesterday's date. Uh, 8, 14, 14, 1, just double check my math, make sure I'm right there, times 3 should be 420, it is. Then add the 83 to that. Don't forget to add that 83 and don't forget that. It's on this side there. So that's going to make it 503. So it's 503 centimeters squared. Again, notice the pattern I'm doing. The two triangles first, and then the distance between the triangles and each side of the triangle. I'm sorry it's such a long one. We've got to do one more, though, for practice. So let's do one more. And let's do this one right here. Looks like more decimals which makes it a little more challenging to do the math, but we can get it done. So let's get the two triangles first. My two triangles are two times a half times. What are my triangles here? What do I got here? I got this. This and Here's my right angle. So we need this times this. Sorry about that crookedness there. So it's going to be 8.7 times 2.67. 8.7 times 2.67. Let's figure that out first. So remember, again, we can skip the two times a half part. And I get 23.229. Kind of going off the page here. They're getting kind of big, aren't they? 229. And now we got to get what's the distance between the two triangles. That's what goes three times here. So I'll pick a triangle corner, like say this one here. And this is the corner that matches that one. What's the distance between them? 4.3. So we go 4.3 times, 4.3 times. And we're going to do that three times. We're just going to be able to get this in, I think. It's kind of going to be a little tight here, but we'll just get it in. So now we got to find each side of the triangle. So I've got 8.7 as a side. 8.7. I've got a 2.8 side. And I've got a 8.3 side. And again, I'm strongly suggest that you work these out with me in this video and watch this because it is going to be very hard uh, to, to understand this if you don't. This is very new and it's got a lot of, a lot of steps to it. 4.3 times 8.7 is the first one. 37.41 I get. Again, you should double check that. I can make mistakes. As you know in class, I do sometimes. 4.3 times 2.8, 12.04, and then 4.3 times 8.3, 35.69. Now we can add them all together, a whole bunch of them there. Let's add them all up and get the total. So it's going to be 35.69, I'll go backwards, plus... 12.04 plus 37.41 plus 23.229. I hope this is right. I got 108. You guys can check that. 0 
and it would probably make that, we really haven't been rounding these very much, but probably the nearest tenth or something like that's fine if you have to do it. And this is going to be centimeters squared again. Again, please watch these. Take the time to take the notes. Follow along and do them with me. I know you don't have this sheet, but you can kind of follow along on your own paper and your notebook as you're, if you're watching me in class teaching it. And ask questions if you don't get where I'm getting a number from. And be specific about your question so I know exactly what it is you don't understand. Not just, I don't get it. That's not, that's not helpful. I, I need more than that. you got to tell me what parts you don't get. Okay, so give me a give me a uh, an email, send me an email or something like that if you need help, and let me know, or even comment on the video. That's fine too, and I'll try and help you that way. Have a great day. Bye bye.